السلام علیکم دوستو سبسکرائب کریں پی فو ٹرینڈ چینل کو اور بیل آئیکن کو دبائیے تاکہ آپ کو ہماری آنے والی ہر ویڈیو کی نوٹفیکشن ملتی رہے تاکہ آپ کو مل سکے کرکٹ اپ ڈیٹس سپورٹس اپ ڈیٹ ورلڈ ریکارڈس اینڈ وارس آن ٹرینڈ رائٹ ناؤ آئی ڈونٹ تھنک دیٹ آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو بریک تھنگس ڈاؤن امیڈیٹلی بٹ ان ٹائم ول ہیو ٹو سٹ ڈاؤن اینڈ اینالائز ویئر وی وینٹ رانگ اینڈ تھنگس دیٹ وی کوڈ ہیو ڈن رائٹ ان دس گیم پرٹیکولرلی Uh, 240 odd runs to get, uh, what was the feeling in the camp and could the short selection could have been better uh, at the top order, maybe? Yeah, look, Rohit got um, a really good ball. I thought my, my ball was also decent. Um, yeah, a couple of short selections, yes, could have been better, which I already mentioned. Um, chasing 240, we were very comfortable. We, we were confident that we can get the score. Uh, start is always important and Um, yeah, look, as I said, New Zealand, the way they bowled did not provide any opportunities for us. I think for the first seven or eight overs, we didn't get a ball to drive. So um, that shows the kind of control they bowled with. And um, they put the fielders in the right positions. And, you know, there was a perfect spell of fast bowling with the new ball, uh, which really put us under a lot of pressure. So as I said, with the, we were not shying away from accepting that we didn't uh, stand up to the challenge and we were not good enough under pressure. And we have to accept that and accept... Um, the failure as it as it shows on the scoreboard. Virat, uh, the initial setback obviously was there, but after that, you know, Hardik and uh, Rishabh looked like they were settling down. A little heartbroken with the shot that Rishabh played at that point in time, maybe could have been otherwise. Look, he's a he's an instinctive player, um, and he did well to overcome that situation and string in a partnership with Hardik. I think the way they played after loss of three wickets was. Uh, four wickets rather was was uh, quite commendable and um, in hindsight you know he, he's still young so I made many many errors when I was young uh, in my career and uh, he will learn he will look back and think yes he could have chosen a, a different option in that situation maybe and he realizes that already so you know all these guys have a lot of uh, pride and passion to play for the country and they are the ones who feel the most disappointed when a mistake happens on the outside i know it looks like you know it was an error but the person who makes it trust me they they are the ones who suffer the most with it so i'm sure he'll reflect on it and uh, he'll come out stronger the talent is there for everyone to see and uh, you know the character is there but as i said yes a, a few shots not just uh, rishab but Uh, that happens in sport you know you make errors you make decisions which are not right at that time and you have to accept it virat uh, through the campaign there was there were discussions in the media i'm sure you're aware about the dhoni's strike rate uh, as a captain was it a first bit of a concern for you that you know perhaps uh, the lower order could have forced the pace more and could have you know collected runs faster well look it's it's always um, you know a, a safer option to look at it from outside and say maybe this could have happened but um i think today he was batting with jaddu and there was only bhuvi to follow after so he had to hold one end together in my opinion and because jaddu was playing so well you needed a solid partnership and to get a 100 partnership from that situation i think it had to be the right balance of one guy holding an end and jaddu playing the way he did i think his knock was outstanding so um yeah you as i said when you don't win in hindsight a lot of things can reflect in different manners but you have to understand how the game panned out until what stage did the game go and you know you you would obviously expect new zealand to fight back at some stage because the the target was steep after losing you know five six wickets but the way they batted together i think it was the perfect tempo for that situation uh, according to me uh right can you explain the uh, reasons why ms came so late in the order uh, you know at 7 so well he's he's uh, been given that role um after the first few games of being in a situation where you know he can if the situation's bad then he can control one end like he did today or if there's a scenario where there's six seven overs left then he can go and strike so yeah that was the mindset behind it Virat, um, I mean, it, regarding the batting in the middle overs, uh, Mitchell Santner gave away only seven runs in his first six overs and took two wickets. Mm-hmm. So, do you think we should have uh, played him a little more aggressively? I mean, six runs in his first, seven runs in his first six overs. Look, I wasn't there out in the middle. So, again, 
it's very easy for me to say yes we could have or no it was fine but uh, if i knew the pace of the wicket what the ball is doing you looked at the scoreboard the situation was such so we leave a responsibility to the two guys in the middle to make decisions because eventually as an individual you play one ball at a time yourself and then you're talking with your partner so from the outside is very easy for us to analyze you know whether they should have or they shouldn't have but um it should be left up to the individuals and um they come up themselves and say maybe my decision wasn't right so you know and you have to accept that that's how you failures teach you and and you improve in sport like that but you have to accept errors also we're not denying any errors but i'm saying that only the guys who are in that situation um if i was in there and i and i played in that manner i would be able to tell you why so um yeah in as i said again in hindsight a lot of things uh can be up for discussion but um you can never really assess from the outside whether it should have been done or not Virat um, how are you as as a captain and as a player taking this whole yourself you know this disappointment basically how are you feeling about it right now of course very disappointed um, we played um, outstanding cricket as i as i mentioned already throughout this tournament and to just go out uh, on the basis of 45 minutes of of bad cricket is is you know saddening and it it breaks your heart also because you worked so hard f- throughout the tournament to build momentum you finish in number 1 in the table and then you know a, a spell of bad cricket and then you're out of the tournament completely so but you have to accept it i mean um it's happened to us before and and we have all come out better cricketers because of these setbacks uh, especially at at a stage um like world cup but uh, having said that i mean we we have qualified till the semis and you know we have played some really good cricket so we should be also proud of the way we played and um uh, look at the positives also because there were a lot uh, throughout this tournament especially rohit's performance was i think stand out performance and just preet with the ball and jadeja given the opportunity so there are many things that we can take back as positives but yeah um not having played that bad cricket and then just as i said 40 45 minutes of bad cricket puts you out but as a sportsman you have to accept it that these this is part and parcel of this game uh, very um you seem often seen as a an understated sort of side that snuck into the finals after um three losses did did they surprise you today and um also what's your um how do you see them faring in the final against either india or australia um <clears throat> i um wasn't surprised at all with uh, how new zealand played to be honest uh, if there's a low total then we knew there's probably only one or two sides in world cricket that'll put seven fielders in the ring and that was always going to be one was going to be new zealand so we knew that they're going to attack more uh, they would not let the game go till the end won't take it deep they'll just go all out and um you know play the game that way because i've seen them play that way today also third man was up in the ring and in a one day game you know you had five catching fielders so um they they know how to put pressure because they play very consistent cricket um and today was an example of that and your second question was who how do you see them fearing in the final well it really depends on the day i mean if if conditions are good to bat and then you know they'll have to bat really well if if conditions are bowler friendly and they put up enough runs on the board then they become a dangerous side as you saw in this game so it it's anyone's game i guess knockouts as you saw today whoever plays well on that day wins so yeah i i wouldn't pick anyone as favorites the team has to play well to win jadeja had this wonderfully cute uh, celebration 50 looking at probably at sanjay manjaika and so how was you reacting in the team and when did he go out he seemed to be in tremendous mode the way he ran down and hit a six did he say something before he went out to bat itself and there was a point at third last three overs were left 30 or something you were sitting in the balcony you seemed to say ho jayega that you were confident at that time just when bolt came so jadeja the celebration and the last three overs um i don't think we any of us had to say anything to jadeja after what happened over the last one week he was quite ready to just get on to the park to be honest uh, and you saw that 
the passion which with, with with which he played and we've seen it in test cricket a few times he's played knocks under tremendous pressure and he's got how many three triple hundreds in first class cricket if i'm not wrong so the talent's obviously always been there and in my um watching jadeja for 10 years uh, you know me playing with him as well this is probably uh, his top quality like best knock according to me because the kind of pressure the stage we are at you know almost out of the game and then he produces that so he was very motivated um yes at at that stage we all felt like in the change room you know the game can be closed out it can be done but then again he played so well and then you know a mistake can happen at any stage i don't think it it was even a mistake it was just lack of execution which in one day cricket you have to take a risk here and there so um i'm really happy for him because um you know he's he's been a very understated cricketer but a top quality cricketer for india in the field with the ball with the bat priceless so yeah he's had a great great game today dosto agar aapko ye video achhi lagi to like kare comment kare p4 trend ko subscribe kare aur bell icon ko zarur dabaiye taki aapko hamari aane wali har video ki notification sabse pehle mil sake